Hello everybody, here is a quick tutorial. This tutorial I'll show you how to pattern a merged surface. It's a trickier thing to do, but it's helpful to to be able to, to do that. So if you need to make a bottle or create some other model, if you're working with surfaces, if you can merge them, you gotta use the pan in a certain way to to have it pan a merge surface together. So let's get started. So I'll make a new file. Okay, so I'll just quickly use a simple revolve tool. And add an axis of revolution. And now I'll draw an arc, three point arc. Something like that. That looks fine. I'll click OK. And we'll create a surface and not a solid. So, um, so working with solid, there won't be too many problems, but when you're working surface, it's it can be a bit tricky. Okay, so we're going to create another revolve to create a cut, a special unique cut on the, on the model here. So I'll do another, this time I'm going to put it on angle and I'll draw in the arc. So I'll create an arc here. Alright, so it's, uh, it's going to revolve around that diagonal axis and create a surface again and now we have our two two piece so we're gonna merge these two surfaces and pan them but first uh, before you do that you need to pan the, the the secondary feature first and I'll do an axis pan turn on axis and I'll put make that about eight and make it go 360 degrees all right, so now we have our model of of um, of the secondary surface to be patterned, and now we can go ahead and merge them. So, first thing you gotta do is pick the the the, the parent, uh, the initial surface to be merged, because that's the parent. So, uh, it's important to use the right order to select them. So. I'll start by picking that first and select the bottom surface and I'll go merge and here you just got to pick what to keep so we want to keep the, the main surface and the cut surface and we remove the, the, the surface on the on the small more small revolve there all right so we have the feature here and now we want to so that's the merge surface we want to pan that now if we select this and it'll do a pan it'll recognize the the number of pan we have already we'll click accept and it doesn't work to make it work you need to go back to the original pattern here and you need to go edit definition and just in uh, not here actually in the in the p feature where you do the revolve actually let me actually in the merge yeah in the merge feature you need to go select the right order so you need to move this surface up click OK and now it works so as you can see there we we um, create a, a, a pan of a merge revolve surface okay just let's quickly go back a step um, I'll just show you what I did wrong so let's remove this remove the pan and delete the merge yeah so the merge what I did wrong is that I selected the the, the smaller surface first I should have selected the main surface first and then the, the secondary surface second and then merge that now the arrows is on the bottom left instead of uh, top right before now if we accept that merge and we select that merge surface and create a pattern and hopefully that works so there you go so that's the difference there it's how you select the 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 surface when you merge them and that will avoid issue with panning so you should select the parent surface surface first and then select your child surface so that's a quick tutorial for today 
Hope you find that useful. See you later.